Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burback. We got your forecast for the next several days, and uh, looks like we're in for some rain, but it's going to be beautiful weather out at Dodger Stadium tonight and tomorrow night. In fact, look at these temperatures. A little bit warmer than what we had here in Fenway Park for the first two games. Well, the next two games is going to be in the low and middle 80s as those games start at 5.09 in the afternoon. Of course, that's Pacific time. We'll be watching those games for sure. The hottest World Series game ever was actually last year, and it was at Dodger Stadium when they took on the Astros. The temperature at game time was 103 degrees. Well, we're kind of glad it's not going to be in the hundreds for the Red Sox out there this time around, but uh, 80 to 83 degrees isn't bad at all. But around here, we'll try to get up to 50 today. We might not quite make it. There's a lot of high cloudiness starting to show up, and more and more of it will thicken up during the afternoon to make more of a milky-looking sky. But no rain today, and practically no wind, which is good news after yesterday's strong cold gusts. Today's highs will be in the upper 40s. By tomorrow morning, it starts raining sometime around 5, 6, 7 o'clock, and right from the get-go almost, it goes right to heavy rain. And then a little bit of drizzle, uh, I should say, a few ice pellets could fall across northern Massachusetts, Route 2 corridor northward. And most of the snow will be the higher elevated areas up, up north over the mountainous spots. So that's the deal. As a couple of waves of low pressure come along, a secondary storm comes up over Cape Cod and makes it warm there tomorrow afternoon up near 60. Watch for localized flooding tomorrow. That's mainly in ponding on the roadways and um, certainly big puddles uh, in poor drainage areas. Damaging wind gusts, they could be scattered around, especially near the coast, bringing down some of these uh, trees that have a lot of leaves on them, and it looks like there'll be some gusts of 60 miles an hour. Coastal flooding will be happening, but it'll be of minor nature. Nevertheless, some uh, vulnerable shore roads will be closed off tomorrow afternoon between 1 and 3 o'clock. The snow will be up north, but over elevated areas, where that's where you'll find some accumulating snow. The snow which falls in the valleys will melt. Meantime, there's the coastal flooding situation as the seas build tomorrow, and we have these potential gusts up to 50 to 60 miles an hour along the coast and less inland. Hey, you want to look way ahead to Halloween for trick-or-treat? This is just um, going out on the limb, so to speak, but this is the way it looks right now. Around 57 degrees early Wednesday evening, and it looks like probably mostly cloudy with a few scattered showers possible. There's your seven-day with more rain coming in on Monday. This should be much weaker system, so lighter rain, less wind, after we have a shot at going up to 60 or so Sunday afternoon if the sun comes out.